Hello, rail fans, and welcome to French Fry Trains. Well, folks, CSX has done it again, and over this weekend, they've released another heritage unit from the paint shops. This time, we have CSX 1850, the Louisville and Nashville heritage unit. And it's in this gray paint scheme, which on the original Louis and Bash Nashville version of this, it had a yellow nose with the logo on the front, which made it somewhat distinctive. But with the CSX spade on the front, that gets covered up. So this one ends up looking really plain compared to the other CSX Heritage units. And essentially, it looks kind of just like the Seaboard System one with different lettering, because it's just all gray on the back. But it is a Heritage unit, and I have to keep this collection going. So we're going to build it today. Now let's get right into it. So as usual, we're going to start off on the rear end with the coupler. So take out a dark oak stair and attach that up. Under it a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then on the next block forward on the bottom middle, three black stone brick blocks. Then an upside down black stone brick stair facing outward on either side. Above it, a row of five black stone brick blocks. Then in front of this in the center, do a three block tall T-shape of black stone brick blocks. And put a torch on either side of the second layer. On the outer edge, put three bamboo slabs on each side like this. In front of that, do a 5 by 3 of black stone brick block coming out to each side of the tracks here. Then we're going to come behind here on bottom. And back here on the top middle, we're going to put three bamboo slabs up here. Then on the bottom, we're going to open a birch fence gate above the rail and a dark oak fence gate above that. And then same thing on this side here. Then on the top middle, a bamboo fence gate in the center and put a sideways lightning rod on either side of the fence gate. Then we're going to come in front of this. In front of this on bottom, put a fence gate on each rail. Then in front of that, another wheel on each rail. In the middle, a deep slate tile top slab, then three top slabs across the middle. Then two coming forward in the middle, then three wide again. Then two in the middle, then three wide again up here. Then we're going to put another right wheel here and here. It's the same thing on this side. And then in these gaps between the wheels, we're going to put a dark oak fence gate on all four of these spaces. Then go through and put a hopper on the side of all six and the right wheels. Then we'll crouch and we're going to put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. Repeat on this other side, put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper over here as well. Then we're going to come up top with black stone brick block and do a line right down the middle to the front of this. On the side of it, put a full row of dark oak bed skates. Then a full row of dark oak bed skates on this side. Then we're going to come stand up here and crouch, and we're going to put a single deep slate tile slab on top of all six of the hoppers. Then we're going to move a hitbox down on the spaces between them and put two slabs on all four of these gaps. Then we're going to come out here, and we're going to put a wither skeleton skull above the front wheel and the back wheel, and same thing on this side. Then we're going to put a dark oak sign above the middle wheel on each side. Then come up here and crouch again, and we're going to put a sideways lightning rod here and here, and then one here and one here. Then we're going to come out bottom right in front of this, and we're going to go three wide on the bottom middle with black stone brick block, and we'll extend that forward for our fuel tank, and we're going to make it 16 blocks long, one six, so a three by 16. On the side of it, we're going to put 16 upside down black stone brick stairs facing outward, and then same thing on this side, a full row of upside down stairs on this side facing outward. Then we'll come up top with black stone brick block again. And we'll start back here, we'll just do another three by 16 on the second layer, and we'll bring that all the way forward to the front of the fuel tank. Then on this side of it, we'll add a full row of 16 black stone brick blocks up here. And on this other side, we're gonna put two blocks on the back here and then three blocks on the front here. Then come on this bottom corner and put a wither skeleton skull here. Then on the bottom in front of it, we're gonna do three deep slate tile top slabs, then two in the middle, then three wide. Then two in the middle again, then three wide of top slabs. 
then one in the middle. Then we're gonna put a netherite wheel here, here, and here. And then repeat on this side. Then in the spaces between, put a dark oak vent skate and also one on the front of these two wheels. And then one here and here. Then same as before, put a hopper on the side of all six of these netherite wheels. Then we will crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. Then we'll come over to this side and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper over here. Then come up top with blackstone brick block and do a line down the middle until you're aligned with these front fence gates. On the side of it, we're going to put a full row of fence gates up here to the front. And then same thing on this side, a full row of fence gates up here. Then come up here and crouch, and we're going to put a single deep slate tile slab on all six hoppers. Then move a hitbox down in the space between and put two slabs on all four of these spaces. Then we're going to come out here and we're going to put a dark oak sign above the middle wheel on each side. And then we're going to put a wither skeleton skull above the front wheel and the back wheel. And then same thing on this side. Then come up here and crouch again and we're going to put a sideways lightning rod here and here. Then one here and one right here. Then in front of this on the bottom, we're going to do a five by three blackstone brick block coming out to each side of the tracks. Then in front of that, a three block tall T-shape in the middle and put a torch on either side of the second layer. On the outer edge, three bamboo slabs like this on each side. Then on the bottom middle in front of this, three blackstone brick stairs facing forward and an upside down stair facing outward on either side. On the next layer, a block in the middle and two upside down stairs on either side of it. Then three bamboo slabs on the top middle. Then take a dark oak stair for the front coupler, turn around and stack it up to this middle second block. Under it, a sideways dark oak fence gate. Then open a birch fence gate above each rail and a dark oak above each of those. On the top middle, put a bamboo fence gate. Then come up here and crouch, and we're gonna put a sideways lightning rod here, and then one on this side, right here. Next, we're gonna come on this front corner of the fuel tank here and put a bell here. Then on the third block back, we're gonna put a skeleton skull here, then a mangrove sign, then skip one and a mangrove button. We'll also put a mangrove button on the back here. On this side, we're gonna put one button on the back right here. Then on these front three blocks, we're gonna do a skeleton skull, a mangrove sign, and a mangrove button. Then right here, we're gonna do five anvils then at the back of it, five anvils. In the middle, put a dark oak fence gate. Then on this back corner, put a brewing stand right here. Then we're gonna come up on this third layer and we're gonna start at one end up here. And we're gonna go three wide on the top middle with our polish blackstone brick blocks. And we're gonna bring that all the way across the top, three wide in the middle. Then we'll come on this top outer edge and start in this corner on the upper hitbox and we'll do a full row of bamboo top, top slabs all the way across to the other end. And then same thing on this side, a full row of bamboo top slabs all the way across here to the other end. And now the base is done and we'll come on top of the front here. So come on top of the front on the third block in and do five yellow concrete. Then one on the left a bamboo stair here, then a lapis lazuli, two yellow concrete, then one yellow on the top middle with an outward facing black stone brick slab on either side. Behind it on each side a column of two lapis lazuli. On top of each of those put a forward facing black stone brick stair and three black stone brick blocks across the middle. Then down here put a bamboo button here and one here. Then on the bottom of this side we're going to do two blue shulker boxes, lapis. Two shulker boxes, lapis. Two shulker boxes, lapis. Then on this side, we're gonna do two shulker boxes, a decorated pot, two shulker boxes. Above this, five lapis lazuli. 
then above that one on each end and three yellow concrete in the middle. On this side start on the front, do a row of lapis and come to one block before the back here. Then one up here, three yellow concrete, a warp door and a backwards door behind it. Then in front of that we'll do three black stained glass panes here, then across here two black stained glass blocks, a lapis, two stained glass blocks. Behind it, three black stained glass panes and a lapis. Then put a white stained glass pane here and one on this side. On the top, we're gonna put five outward facing smooth court stairs up here. And then same thing over here, five stairs over here. On the front middle, put three lapis right here and fill the rest of this cab roof with white wool. Then come on the top center and we're gonna put three polished diorite slabs here and three iron trap doors on either side of it. Then come down here and put three bamboo signs right here and then one here. On this side, we're just gonna put three bamboo signs under the yellow concrete. Then take out lapis lazuli, come behind the cab, one block in from the outer edge on each side. And do a column of five here, then five here, one on the top middle. Behind it, a column of four on each side, then a column of three on each side, then a column of two, and then one. And actually come over here, and we'll add one more lapis here and here so it lines up with that. Then we need to make a banner, so come into a loom with a blue banner and yellow die and put a horizontal on bottom. Then we're gonna come over on this side and we're gonna crouch and we're gonna put this over this side door with a blue banner under it and then that will hide the door on the side view here like that. Now come up here on the top middle and do five light gray concrete coming back. Then two bedrock in the middle and two iron bars on either side of the bedrock. Then up here, a light gray concrete here and here and three chiseled bookshelves in the middle. On this side, a chiseled bookshelf, a light gray concrete with a spruce sign, two chiseled bookshelves and a light gray concrete. Then down here, do three light gray concrete and then fill this all in with light gray to the back of this section. Then repeat on this side, so we're gonna come under here, three light gray here and fill all this into the back of it with light gray concrete. Then down on this bottom corner, we're gonna do five lapis lazuli and a light gray concrete. Then four lapis, two light gray. Then three lapis, three light gray. Back here, a column of three light gray stained glass panes. And now we're gonna move down to the rear end. Back here on the third block in, do three light gray concrete like this. Then two layers of red concrete on top. Above this, one light gray here and here, and a stone brick stair here. On top of the stair, go five wide of light gray concrete. Then we're gonna come in front of this on the bottom middle and do a bedrock down the center. And then raise this up three blocks tall. Then come in this back corner and we're gonna do this C shape of light gray shulker boxes. In the middle, a light gray concrete with a jungle trap door closed. In front of it, a column of three iron bars. Skip one and two columns of three. Skip one and one column of three. Then a light gray shulker box here and here. Deep slate tile wall here and here. Shulker box here and here. Then on top of this, we're gonna do two layers of light gray concrete all the way up to the front here. Then we'll come on this side. At the back, a column of three iron bars. Skip one, two columns of three. Skip one, one column of three. Skip one, one column of three. Then a shulker box here, here, and here. A deep slate tile wall above all three. And a shulker box here, here, and here. Then on top, two layers of light gray concrete up here to the front of this. Then, still one block in from the outer edge here, we're gonna fill this whole middle section in, four blocks tall, with light gray concrete. And bring it up to the front. Then repeat on this side and fill this whole side in four blocks tall with light gray concrete. We'll also fill this middle part with light gray concrete across here. Then we're going to come on top up the back here and put five light gray concrete up here. And then 
five on this side, right here. Then up here, we're gonna do four outward facing stone brick stairs here. Then four here. Then up here in the middle, a light gray concrete, two bedrock, and a light gray. Put two iron trap doors on the bedrock, and then surround it with stone brick slabs. Then a line of stone brick stairs down the middle to the back here. One on either side here and here. Across here, five deep slate tile slabs here, and five here. Then under the back here, we're gonna do five upside down deep slate tile stairs, then skip one and two deep slate tile slabs. Repeat it on this side. So five upside down stairs here, skip one and two slabs. Then come on top right in front of this here with light gray concrete. And we're gonna do a three by three square and put a decorated pot in the middle for the exhaust. Surround it on top with light gray carpet. Then we'll do light gray carpet across here and this side. Then we're gonna come up here and put three stone brick stairs across here, behind it a three by three of stone brick slabs. Then two on each side, two rows of three here. And here a birch fence gate and open a fence gate in front of it. Then on top of this, we're gonna cover this three wide with light gray carpet. To here, then three blue carpet here, three white carpet here, and three white carpet here. Then on top of the nose, a T-shape of black carpet here, then one on each corner. Then a T-shape of black carpet on this front porch. Then come back here and do a row of black carpet across here. Then drop down on this walkway and a full line of black carpet all the way to the back. Then come around this corner here, a T-shape on the back porch. Then come around this corner and come all the way back up this side with black carpet. Then we'll add one here and three up here. Then come up here and we're gonna hang a blue banner right here on the side and one right here. Then we'll do our railings. So we're gonna do four bamboo fences here. Then here, up three, over one, up two. Repeat it on this side. So we'll do four here, here, up three, over one, up two. Then two birch fences here, two here, and a chain across the gap. We're gonna repeat that process on the rear end. So come back here with bamboo fence. Right here we'll come up four. Here we'll come up three, over one, up two. And repeat on this side. So here, up four. Here, up three, over one, up two. Then two birch fences right here, two here, and a chain across the gap. Then take your birch fence and we'll connect it up on top right here and we're gonna start bringing it forward up this side. And we're gonna stop where these stained glass panes are. And we're gonna come straight up by three and then forward across till you get right here like this. Then we'll do the other side. So come to the back down here with your birch fences. Connect it up right here and start bringing it forward up this side. And actually when we get right here, we stop here then we come up one, forward one, up one, and then forward until you're in front of this door like that. Now come up front here. On either of these fences, put a glow item frame with a frog leg. Then one on the middle of the nose up here, also with a frog leg. Then up on the top here, we're going to put a dark oak sign here with our number 1850. And then same thing on this side. hit both of them with white dye and a glowing sec each. Then we'll detail the back end, so we're gonna come back here. And we'll put a glow item frame with a frog light on either of these fences. Then we're gonna do one with a frog light on the top middle. Then down under here on either side of the stair, do a birch sign with 1850. And we're gonna hit these ones both with yellow dye and a glowing sec each. Then we need to make some banners. So we're gonna come into a loom with a red banner and yellow dye. And we're gonna put a vertical on the left, horizontal on bottom. New banner, vertical on the left and the right in a diagonal. Put a red border around both of those. 
Then we'll do one more red banner with a yellow circle in the middle. And we'll come place these on the back here. So back here, we're gonna put the L here, the N here, and the circle in the center. Now come back into a loom with a light gray banner and yellow dye. We'll do the same thing. So a vertical on the left, horizontal on bottom, new banner, vertical on either side, and then a diagonal. Then put a light gray border around each of those, and also a light gray one with a yellow circle on the middle here. And then we're gonna come place these for the side logo. So we're gonna come right here, and we'll put this one, the circle, then the head. Then we'll come on top of this side and align with this horn and do the L, the circle, and then the N. Now we'll do the interior, so come out inside the cap here. And down in this corner, put an end portal. Then we'll do three cut sandstone here and three here. Come down in here, turn around, and put a birch door here. Then back here, we'll do two layers of cut sandstone on the side and bring it too high on this side. Two on the back middle, then use smooth sandstone stairs to make a staircase here. On the back middle, two blast furnaces, then an upside down stair here and here, a lever on the right, in the middle a glow item frame with an end crystal. Then put a stair here and here for seats, and now our interior is all done, and we can come back outside here. So there we have it folks. We've completed CSX's newest heritage unit, CSX 1850, the Louisville and Nashville Heritage Unit. I hope everyone enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, real fans.